everyone, this is Empress Pamela. Welcome to this edition of Healing with Creation. So, I'm going to share with you, um, <laughs> this is kind of difficult for me because there's a long story and I'll probably tell you at some point, but recently I spent three months in seclusion um, doing some soul searching um, and I spent the time writing and doing artwork. So when I was a little girl, uh, one of the key activities that I enjoyed that brought me uh, comfort was art, artistic endeavors, but specifically watercolors. So I'm not saying I'm a great artist. Let me just put that disclaimer, but it is something that has helped me heal when I went back and loved my inner child, the child that I neglected. And uh, I stopped doing art because of criticism that I received from a teacher. And I had already had low self-esteem. And so I really didn't feel worthy of exploring my talent or my interest or something that just made me feel good to do. So I took all these years, 40 years, whatever, to maybe more than 40 years, um, to bring it back up in my life. And it's been a main source of healing. So while I was at the beach, which was a great, inspiring place to be, I um, spent some time. I went to the dollar store and I got just a dollar um, watercolor and just dollar brushes and I went to town and just kind of broke the ice with myself and started doing whatever and it was kind of like a difficult thing believe it or not it wasn't because it was like me giving up judgment on myself and just allowing for me to be who I am, I guess. Let's just say that. So I'm going to do some show and tell. And again, I'm not an artist, but um, I enjoy art. So let me just do some, I know this is kind of awkward, but I just want to do a show and tell. And maybe at some point I'll do like a live thing. So here's one of my creations. That's obviously the ocean or whatever. You know, the thing with art is, for me, art is neither good nor bad. It is a personal expression of the artist. It is their divine expression. It is their divine inspiration and should be respected. So whether or not you understand what they're doing, that's up to the person who's looking at it. And you can interpret it however you want. Whatever you see is what's real and true for you. And that's my spiel on art. Um, here's another. This is more colorful. And those two were done last year. I think this is my first one that I did most recently at the beach. I was thinking of the colors of the chakras and I like the vibrancy of the colors I'm really getting into color and the black represents the negative entities that can attach to your chakras so luckily my chakras color and vibrancy outweighs the a little bit of negative particles still remaining so to me that means they're still healing to be done, but for the most part, um, I'm coming through the other end of healing. I didn't realize that's what that meant, but it does. This is truly one of the scenes that I was able to see when at the beach, and the horizon that day was so distinct, and the colors in the sky and the colors in the ocean were just really amazing. 
And I also was privy to a lot of sunsets. Um, I was able to see the sunset out my bedroom window. And this, some days it looked like a ball, really, of fire just going into the horizon. And then all the blues and the purples that surrounded it. I never really paid attention, but during my time in seclusion, I was able to really... Um, pay attention to my surroundings and all the beauty of nature that just happens without us really paying attention. Again, this is another version of a sunset. And if you see, you know, typically they'll follow the colors of the chakras. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet kind of what I saw a lot of the time and okay not that one <laughs> this one wow this is at the beach this is when it was probably low tide so the sand is more close but the perspective and the gradation of the color from the sand to the water to the horizon in the sky is really something that I wanted to capture and I enjoy doing that. And towards this part of the journey, I really was um, running out of colors in my uh, watercolor bin. So I just wanted to utilize whatever I had left. And this would be like an up-close version of a flower. If you were to look in the inside of a flower, you would see these colors. And at that point, at this point, I all pretty much had was like orange and black and white left in my palette and I said what if I mainly did the outline so this is a flower that I've been drawing my whole life um what if I just did the outline and then I just kind of put the color in and watercolored it and I really liked how this came out even though there's a mistake on it um I just enjoy that and then my final one again running out of colors all I had was black and white, and that's what was left. A closer version of what a flower would look like up close. A black and white filter. Um, thank you for listening and watching my little show and tell. Um, if you're interested in watercolor, go for it. It doesn't cost a lot. Just go to your dollar store or wherever and get the few supplies you need and go to town. And don't worry about criticism because you are a divine creature and your expression is a reflection of the divine. Love you much.